Hi, beautiful planner people. Today I have a very small haul for you guys, but I wanted to make sure I got this open so I could put it away. So I have three packages. I have one from the Rose and Tea Shop, one from Letters to Apollo, and a giveaway that I won. So I think I'm gonna start with the Letters to Apollo because I actually, it came yesterday and I could not wait. I had to open it because I was like, I don't remember what this is. And it was such a small package. <laughs> so yeah, let me open this up for you guys and show you what I did and you can laugh at me again. So I got all of them. Evidently in my oops bag um, addiction, I bought four more of Letter to Apollo's oops bags. I have one that is just their non-foiled bag and three foiled bags. And I did peek inside these last night because I was having a bit of a bad day. And so I, I just wanted to see, but I'm excited to show you guys what's in these because it's some pretty cool stickers. This is the non-foiled one first. And I love these third size boxes. Actually, let me grab my planner so you can see the size difference size difference size of the boxes how about that because these are I think they call them midi boxes or something so they're not actually the full width of the columns so you have that little bit of white space around it which I kind of like so I have those and I love this design as well um this one is totally awesome it says you're doing amazing sweetie and there are weeks that I really need this. I think every mom needs one of these sheets. And this one says work late. I, so I don't have like a normal job. I just have, you know, my kids and what I do here on YouTube. And I occasionally help out a friend with some graphics for like Facebook and uh, Instagram. But it's, it's not like a real job. So the work late, I don't know how much I'll use that. Uh, wine time, I don't drink but I think these are really cute and work early. This one I might be more inclined to use opposed to the work late because there are times that I get up really early so I can edit a video or something like that. So there is the unfoiled one. And again, I think these were $2 a bag. Let me think here. Yes. It says, oh, it's $2 oops bags, but the actual price that I paid was $5. And then the foiled one was $6.25. That's what it is. I knew there was a $2 in there. So I'm going to start with this oops bag. So this one has these really cute 4th of July icons. Since I already have the kit that I'm planning on using for 4th of July next year, and it is in silver, well, it might be in hollow, but I think silver and hollow can go together pretty well. So I'm probably going to put this with that kit. I love the little fireworks here and the, um, the Sam hat. Oh gosh, what is his name? I want to say Karen L. Sanders, but no, that's a chicken guy. Um, but I want to say his name is Sam. Like, you know, the patriotic guy with the hat. Anyhow. So, and I love that we have like a little balloon here and the different popsicles. Super cute. And the fireworks. Then we have border number three. And it is just really pretty. I don't know what the, the oops is on this. Like, I'm looking... Maybe it's just a little off cut because some of the cut lines do go really close to the edge of, especially the underside of the foil and the upper side has a little bit more, but it doesn't actually look like it goes off of the sticker. It's just really close. And since they're clear stickers, I don't know that anyone would notice. Now I'm looking for it on this one. This is Borders too. Oh, it's here. So... I don't know how well you guys can see this but right here there's like this little spot where so this is all gold and then we have like almost a little silver and then rose gold which I'm guessing is the foil halfway transferred but not all the way and so you have the 
like bottom and maybe a little bit of the middle layer of the foil there. It's actually kind of a cool effect. And then we have dot clusters, which I think are fun. And we have these celebrate scripts in rose gold, which are also really awesome. Then we have this one. There is one in here that I'm like, I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. <laughs> I mean, there's like, it's not a bad sticker or anything. It's this top one. So I look at it and it's called Solar Drip. And it made me think of like those fancy the necklaces with multiple strands on them. And then I turned it this way. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it kind of looks like mountains with the sun up there. <laughs> so I might actually be more inclined to use them like that than I would this way because I can't picture how this would look good. Maybe I'm missing some other elements that would really make it look amazing. So I'm going to play around with this one. And then I have this nautical one that says dolphins and anchors. I saw the anchors. Oh, there's the dolphins. <laughs> Super cute. And I love the steering wheel. And then we have the confetti, which I've seen lots of people use these for birthdays and I think they're super cute. We have little grills, which are, she calls them barbecues, sorry, which are really cute. These are different than the other grills that I have because they have like smoke coming out, which, you know, if I'm cooking may actually happen, send up smoke signals. And then we have some hollow fireworks. This is very similar to the hollow fireworks that I got from Scribble Prints Co. this last year, and I they were a great addition to my 4th of July spread. Okay, and last a big from Letters to Apollo. So we have some really cute gold trash cans, and then a banner. These would be really cute kind of going, especially across the weekend, if you could overlap them a little bit. That would be really fun. Then we have floral, the floral filler. Okay. I just was thinking it was like floral, floral clusters. So those are really fun. I think I have flower number dots that would totally match this from Sadie stickers. And then we have lace flowers, which are super cute. And this one, it says stems. So it's just little floral bits here and there. And I think these are also really fun and very useful. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice this is kind of weird today. So that's my letters to Apollo order. Super happy with that. With shipping and everything, this was like $27, which is such a steal. So, all right, let's move on to... I think I'm going to do the, the giveaway last. So I'm going to do the Rose and Tea Shop here. So here's my Rose and Tea Shop little box. This was part of the Harry Potter release they did for their birthday. So I got the loyalty box, but you had to buy that separately. Or maybe it went on sale first. I don't know. One of those. So I had that one. And then I made an additional order, which is this one. And it says, uh, please don't, please do not bend. I'm fragile. I love the sticker. I just, it's so cute. So I have to cut the plastic here. I'll just use these. There we go. This is another, like, I'm sure the packaging is amazing because she always does amazing packaging. Okay, it's, it's not quite the loyalty box level, but it's still really cute. So I think I'll just... Okay, maybe I'll, I don't know, washi's going to come out if I take it no matter what. So, okay, we're going to go this way. Ah, I lost one. Okay, so here's our packaging. I love that they used their washi to close it. It's so, so cute. And it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Kind of feel that way right now. <laughs> Every time the mailman comes, I'm like, is my husband here? Okay, we're clear. Let's get it. Oh, so cute. Okay. So we have the Ravenclaw washi. Super pretty. And we have a Slytherin washi. And we have a 
Hufflepuff, or maybe this is Gryffindor, because it kind of goes from yellow to red, because there's a red. All right, I went ahead and swatched out all of the washi here. I had forgotten to do this when I recorded the video, so if you notice a nail change color, that would be why. So I went to edit and realized I was missing this crucial piece for you guys. So this is the original Hufflepuff watchy that I got in that loyalty box, and I wanted to swatch it out with the other houses just so you could see it. So this is the Hufflepuff one. Here is Slytherin, and look at these clouds behind all of these different icons. It is so cool. I also love that each house has specific icons for that house. So like with Slytherin, you have your cauldron here, you have different potion making ingredients, you have, I'm guessing that's, a, okay, hold on. I don't know if my eyes can read that, but there's a book. <laughs> it's probably a potions book. And then you have the Ravenclaw washi here. And of course you have Luna's glasses, which are so iconic. You have a feather, you have, this was, I believe a potion. And then over here you have a book for knowledge and it was, it's just a really cool roll. And you have the, the uh, um, deity, that's what it's called, right? So yeah, it's just really fun and I really enjoy this. Now the last one, I did do two swatches because it is the only one of the four houses that really has a big change in color. And so I felt that doing one swatch didn't really give it a good representation. So with Gryffindor, of course, you have like the broom and you have potions, you have the uh, Book of Monsters here. And I think I put this upside down, <laughs> but anyhow, but you see how it's kind of almost a sunrise or a sunset. So you have this kind of red going into like a yellow here and then you're going back into that red and it gets very deep in tone here and then it goes back into that light tone. I really like the way that they did this because if they had kept it all this really bright color, it might have been almost a little off-putting to me because of the darkness of it. But I like the fact that with the variegation of the color, it kind of makes me think of a sunrise or a sunset. And I think I'm gonna be more likely to use it because of that. I love all the house's washies. I love how each one of them is kind of a time of day that suits that house. Like Hufflepuff is kind of your midday shiny, happy people. <laughs> Then you have Slytherins and this kind of greenish color, which is meant to be like dusk and kind of that shadowy, things are hidden time of day. And then you have Ravenclaw, who's this gorgeous blue with these stars and everything. And they're more of the, the wise owl night kind of atmosphere. You have astrology and all these different elements kind of coming into play. And then you have Gryffindor, who is kind of almost that, that in-between time where they can be happy sometimes, but other times they're moving more towards that shadowy area and their moods kind of switch and flow with the circumstances that they're in. So where the other houses are more set just in their ways. So it's an interesting kind of interpretation, I'll say, of things. Because this is a really, really cute kit. And I love the stamp. Can you guys see that? So, so pretty. And I think I said this last time. Oh my gosh, look, it has a little seal. That I love their packaging and the fact that it's tied up with this little string and everything just, it's so classy and beautiful. Yeah, that's the one thing I can never tie is bows. I just can't. I tried, I tried for my wedding. I had to tie all the imitations with bows and yeah, did not work out well. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a smidge. Nope, maybe too much, just a smidge. There we go. So on top they have, ooh, we have things coming out. Okay, so here is the little card they send which they always, always 
put a note in here. So that's really cute. It says, hi, Jessica. Thank you for your support. We hope you enjoy your order and especially have a magical time <laughs> with your new washies. And feel free to let us know what you think. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, so here is their card, which I, I love this. It's so adorable. And then we have Rosemary and Teresa. That, that must be their names, Rose and T. So sweet. I really love their card. I just want to like hang it up. I wanted this artwork in my office. Maybe I'll use that as a bookmark. So I think these are freebies. So I have like a little scarf bow, which I'm kind of regretting. I don't think I got these. I kind of regret that. And then you have this owl planner, which I think is absolutely adorable. And one of their windows. I can't remember what they called the windows, but it was really cute. And then we have these special little windows for, um, for boxes. <laughs> so it's just a decorative box that you can use. And I thought they were really awesome. So I got a page of those and I also got some of their circles. These are going to work great for like little layering mandala type things and that type of stuff. And I love the colors they chose. So, and then I ordered this really, really adorable Harry Potter kit. Let's see if I can. Last time I had some issues getting this off. There we go. So check this out with the Hogwarts right here. And then you have the Hogwarts Express and platform nine and three quarters. You have the time turner. You have all of these little footprints. And then you have the, the house crest, the sorting hat, the sorting hat guys. And then this one where you can actually put something in the middle in all of these beautiful boxes. I, when I saw this one, I was totally in love. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, this kit or the loyalty box, which I loved all the kits they did in the loyalty box. And I'm kind of hoping that the that they'll release all of them so that you can buy just the kit individually because I'd love to get the other houses but this is as close as I could come <laughs> so this one this box has Hogwarts Express on it which is so adorable we have a laptop with like the footprints from the Marauders map you have potions as your checklist along with feathers which just makes me think of that scene when Hermione is making her feather flow and how it kind of just gently flows up. We have our days of the week here. Okay, are some of these headers? I'm not sure. Yes. So this is scalloped headers here. If you guys can see that, they kind of go like that. So those are really cute. And these are, I think, just normal ones here and here. But I love the colorings. I love the coffee cups. The flying little, oh my gosh, the flying keys. And then you, the owl with the letter. It's just all so perfectly themed. It's amazing. And then here are, here are your day headers. Looks like they're all connected, but I love that they're kind of kiss cut on the top around the wording itself. And I have wands. I thought I got wand washi. Maybe I only thought about getting the wand washi. Oh no, it's just in the box. <laughs> That's what it was. And then you have, this is your bottom washi, which I don't think I'm going to end up using this because I love the other washi that I have so much. Well, I like this too, but I feel like I'm going to want the other. And I love that you have like a whole page of deco that is just this amazing deco. I mean, they did an amazing job. I love these little feathers. They're so wispy and just gorgeous. So I think, so I'm debating. All right. I was going to use my, it's probably here, my other kit from Rose and Tea in, uh, no, we're in September now. So October, but then I realized it had so many daisies and I was like, oh, well, daisies aren't really a fall thing. It's more of a spring thing. 
So maybe I hold off until spring on that one and I do this one instead in fall. So I might do that because I really like it. It may not be October. It might end up being November because I feel like this will work really well in the beginning of November for that transition week between Halloween and Thanksgiving kind of going through. So yeah, I think that's what I might do with this one. So there's my rose and tea. And now we're on to this package. So this is from two different shops. They went together to do, form this giveaway. It's from Pink Paper Plans and Sprinkled Two Bits, which both of them will be linked down below in case you guys want to check them out more. They will be in the upcoming Ultimate Planner sale. So if you really like this stuff, but you know, we all like to save a little bit. That'll be September, I think, 17th through the 19th. And that's always a great sale to check out. I can also link um, to their webpage for that one down below. And there's a ton of really great shops. So the first shop, Pink Paper Plans. So I won a gift card to her shop and was able to, she does these really cute little bows that you put on your planner. So I was able to pick out the ones that I wanted and she shipped it really fast. It was super sweet of her. And so I can't remember how many bows I got, like four or five. And then along with that, the sprinkled two bits, she does kits. So there is a kit in here from her, which I think is super sweet as well. So let's go ahead and open it up with some scissors. <laughs> Being very, very careful not to cut anything. Maybe. There we go. Maybe, maybe I snip one more just to make sure. Okay, we'll try and pull everything out. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, thank you for your support. That's so sweet. Okay, so these are probably my bows and then this is probably the kit. I'm gonna do the bows first. Let's do this little package. Yes, these are my bows. So, so cute. All right, let me grab my planner so you can see what they would look like on a planner page. Okay, here's my Harriet Wright designs. I'll kind of set her down there. And then these are just those really nice big bows that you can put on your page like this and it adds a really pretty decorative element. So I have a polka dot one, a green one, a blue one with little bows on it, and this one which is really pretty. And they're all like a thicker material and there is a little bit of sewing that goes on here. They, they seem really well made. So those are bows. And then there's this package. A lot of bows. These are the ones that I handpicked out. These are the ones she just included. That was so sweet. Okay, so let me show you these ones. So this is how they normally come. So I got a black and white one. And then this really pretty blue one. And then one with gold. And this really beautiful kind of mustard yellow one, which I, and it, you can choose on some of them what color paper clip you want. I think she had rose gold, which is what color this one is, and gold. And you also could choose, like some of them have the big one like this and some of them had a more normal size paper clip so you have lots of options at her shop but i absolutely like this black and white one i it's stunning and i love the mustard for how 
I love the mustard for fall and this one made me think of, you know, like around New Year's and this one I thought was like a spring bow. So, so, so cute. I have like one or two bows that I occasionally put on my planner, but it's so nice to have more variety. So there's that. And then there's this. Oh my goodness, there's so much in, more in here than I thought. Because I, I just remembered the kit, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at how cute this little rabbit is. Warm winter wishes. So, so sweet. Okay, I'm going to set this aside because this was the part that I, I saw in the giveaway and I remembered. So it says girl boss here. The paper is really nice. I think it's a, it's definitely a matte paper, but it feels really smooth. So probably a premium matte. And I don't know if this is the name of the kit, but I'm going to guess so. Dream, love, plan. And of course I'm going to link both of these shops down below. So if you really like it, you can go and look at her shop. And like I said, yeah, she's in the ultimate planner sale too. Look at this bottom washi. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, what's this say here? Dream, believe, achieve. I like the Hello Weekend. Dream, plan, do. Super nice. And I love that the, there's a clock in the background of the Monday through Sunday. Then you have all of these flags, which are so cool. Oh, and then we have a rescheduled, canceled, rescheduled, canceled. Another little planner that looks like a probably a cloud. And then we have like a little um, movie thing here. And you have a laptop that's open. Some nice decorative boxes. We have our days of the week here. We have our habit tracker. We have a bill due. I like the font that she used up here. So we have a to-do checklist, to-do checklist to go, to call, to do, and to remember. And then these are her icons. This is a big kit. <laughs> oh, and then she included, this is on a glossy paper. It's super pretty though. And these all say, hel oh, I guess it's just the middle one say hello. And then these ones have flowers. I love old typewriters. I just think they're the coolest thing ever. Have you seen those keyboards where it looks like an old typewriter? kind of want one <laughs> anyhow and this one's also on glossy and you have more planner decorative elements which is super cool I think this would be great for a dashboard and then like little happy mail icons so fun okay so that is the kit and then what else is in here okay so maybe these are freebies So we have this little bag and look, there's a little bunny. So, so cute. It has a little candle. We have a book, cold hands, warm heart, steaming pie. Yeah, this is totally a freebie from her. So, and then we have, oh, this is a, um, a die cut, I think. And I love the little, it's very summery and I love the flamingo at the top. That's really fun. And then planning lids. Is this from a different shop or is this hers? And that's just the name. Of, I, I'm not sure. But either way, it's super cute with little pigtails and the different colors. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Look at all these fall elements. Oh, oh, these must. Okay, this looks like another freebie, maybe for a different prime period. But I love the pumpkin and the book. I read a book and this fox. I'm absolutely in love with foxes for fall. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and this little girl with her trick or treat pumpkin. So cute. Carved pumpkin. Little latte there. Soup. All of the like fall things that I love. I love soup. I love like hot chocolate with whipped cream. Although. This year I gotta figure that out because I'm not supposed to have dairy. Hmm. Do they have dairy free hot chocolate? Is that a thing? I don't know. Bring out sweaters. 
Oh, and the leaf's really cute too. Bake cookies. We might have to change that to buy cookies or enlist my daughter to make me cookies. <laughs> I'm not very good at baking. Um, renew and relax your home. Summer 2020 staycation, AKA quarantine. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, happy mail. Just so many fun things. And then baby, it's cold outside and another one of the rabbit. Oh, it's the cutest rabbit. Cozy, snow time, winter wishes, winter time. I love these type of boxes. I think they're so cute. Oh, that's so sweet of her. And then I have no idea what's on this side. Okay. I love that she has this little folio to keep everything safe. So we have um, more freebies, I think, here. I don't know if this is from a different shop. It might be. It says Carolina Planner Girl. So maybe. I love the mail truck, though. I think this is just like a little journaling. Oh, no. A Glitter Life Plans. Maybe. This is my planner piece today. Super fun. And then we have these girls on the scooters. We have little cameras, sunglasses. Um, they sport fishing, boating, cafe, Santa Monica, and then we have ice creams and sunglasses and more cameras. So cute. What's this one? Oh, ghost adventures. Aaron, I'm sending you in alone, dude. <laughs> oh, and he has a little camera there. <laughs> and then we have Amazon boxes. Super amazing. And then stalker status. <laughs> How many of us stalk the mailbox when we know a package is coming? <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, I hate Mondays and pants. <laughs> that is definitely a post quarantine thing. <laughs> And then we have some really fun, colorful boxes here. Um, it looks like another journaling card that says stay cozy. I love her little trees here. And then planner queue. So you can put in like different things you want to watch. And then the last one is just little iPhones. So you could put in, you know, like an, a call icon next to somebody or something. That, like, I was completely flabbergasted when I got the uh, message saying that I had won and I I can't thank them enough this was a amazing little giveaway and I am really grateful for all of these new beautiful things and so thank you to pink paper plans and sprinkled to bits for gifting this to me and it was amazing thank you so much so that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That helps me get out in the community. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more planner videos, hauls, and everything. So until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.